You want you coming in, right? Let me Okay, come on. You got a key for your phone? Well that's my <laughs> I can't lose those. <laughs> You're very cordial. What's your name and badge number? Gwendolyn. 1642. Thank you. You're, You're very cordial. Here's the sheriff's office. I was just looking around, sir. No, but thank you. I'm just looking around. Candy is all the way back there. You can't get any candy. What you doing? Um, taking a tour of the courthouse. Okay, why is that? I'm an independent journalist gathering content on a story. And did you get permission to do that? Uh, this is public, so I'm allowed to. Did you, just let, did you just check in at the administration office and let them know you were doing that? I just checked in with the sheriff that's at the door. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I just, I just didn't know if it was something that we were supposed to have expected or not. So. No. Okay. No, I'm just taking a tour of my facility. Okay. See where my tax dollars are going. Okay, so you live here in Clark County? Um, that doesn't matter. It didn't. All that matters is I'm in here to see where my tax dollars are going. Okay. <laughs> well, if we can help you with something, we'll be glad to. Well, I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, you got the candy bowl all the way over there. Yeah, what was your name? Lone Wolf. What? Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf? Lone Wolf. Okay. L-O-N-E, Wolf. Lone Wolf. Okay. Is that your first name or last name? First name. First name. Okay. Well, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for being cordial. You're welcome. Yeah. You got a nice office. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Hello. The, a sheriff's office that serves coffee. <laughs> Man, you got you got everybody's hearts in, in mind. Mm -hmm. You try to make them feel very comfortable, huh? Mm -hmm. You get a very nice sheriff's office. with these, like, former sheriffs or what? Uh-huh. It is. Very nice. Very, very nice. What's this? Clark County History. What's your name? Lone Wolf. Who? Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf? Lone Wolf. L-O-N-G. L-O-N-E. Lone Wolf. Where? Well, I'm an independent journalist just gathering content on a story. What kind of story? Um, to see where our tax dollars go. To see how it's our tax dollars are being spent. Checking up on my public officials, seeing if they're in the course of their duties. Nothing more, nothing less. Thank you for letting me look around. All right, you're welcome. Thank you. Man, I've never seen a sheriff's officer that serves coffee. <laughs> Pistol, permit. That's courtrooms.
No, but thank you. You got a million dollars, that'd help. You can ask, yes. I ain't going anywhere, and I'm standing right here, and I'm an independent journalist just gathering content on a story. You have a nice day. No, but thank you. That's when the this one expires in the February. One person per per one one person at a time. May I help you, sir? No, but thank you for asking. How you doing? Yeah. What's upstairs? I think that sheriff lady is getting kind of mad. She's like, what the hell is he doing? Elevator, snack room. Restroom. Sir, what are you doing? I'm um, taking a tour of the courthouse. I mean, for what? I'm an independent journal. You got a lot of women upset because you're going around and filming. Well, their felons don't trump my rights because I'm in public. I need, well, I need your ID. You're, you got a lot of women upset. Why do you need my ID? Because you're going in all these offices filming. Yeah, in public areas. It doesn't matter, sir. It does matter. No, it don't. I need to see your ID right now. It does matter because I'm in public. No, sir, you don't have a right to go to all these offices filming. If I'm in public, I do. Where's your ID, sir? It's my First Amendment right. Where's your ID, sir? Are you threatening me? I'm not threatening you. I just need to see your ID. I feel threatened. You're intimidating me. Come here, Kenny. I need to see You're your ID. I got a right to see your ID. You don't have a mask on. Where's your ID? If you don't show me ID, I have a right to arrest you because you're not giving up your ID. Uh, what law and penal code is that? Because I got a right to ID you. I'll give you my name. I need to see your ID. Well, can you back up? I'll give you my ID if you back up a little bit. No, sir. You're not even having a mask on. You're fixing to be arrested if you don't show me your ID. Do you understand that? Yeah, and you're being kind of aggressive, and I'd like to... Because well, you're not doing what I'm ordering you to do. What, that I'm in public? I'll give you my ID, but you go, calm down, 1607 dude. 1607 and 1612. Come down here, Sheriff. I'm willing to give you my ID. You're thinking of being arrested if you don't. You got a lot of women upset. I need to see your ID right now. This is all public, sir. I don't give a shit. I got a right to see your ID. By law. You can go see an attorney if you want to, okay? And you're out of state, too. So, I'm allowed to come in here and feel that. I don't care, sir. You've got a right by law to, when an officer approaches you, give you ID. You understand? Stay with him in just a second. <clears throat> he was trying to be an aggressive, dude. Sir, can you run me a Colorado ID? Let me know when you're ready. He had no right to come up with me like that. That was kind of aggressive on his part, coming at me like that. What business do you have ready for that? I'm an independent journalist just gathering content on a story. Okay. Okay, it's going to be zero, one. one I tried to explain that to him, but he wanted to be a... <clears throat> what office are you in? 
So you did it, you I'm not. I was just touring the courthouse. I wasn't going in any restricted areas. I was just staying in public. Sir, this day and time, there's a lot going on. I mean, people go to courthouses to do things. We've had active shooters. I know you don't have a gun, but you videoing, who knows that you might come back later and do something. Do you understand that? No, I don't. Then we have, then, no, I don't. Because as long as I stay in a public area and I'm not bothering anybody, I am allowed to film and record my public officials in the course of their duty. It doesn't matter where I'm from. I am a, I'm a United States citizen and I'm allowed to come in here and film my public officials in the course of their duties. Now, what is your name and badge number? Name and badge number. And it's your policy to tell me what your name and badge number is. I'm not with the Sheriff's Department. Well, oh, you're not? No, sir. I'm just making sure there was no incident between you and him. Well, he kind of come up on me like all aggressive. There's no reason for that. Coming, getting up on my face like that. There was no reason for that. He didn't even give me a chance to explain or nothing. He just wanted to get off of my face. I'm not trying to be a problem. I'm listen, trying to be, be listen, cordial. I got a right to ID anybody coming in this courthouse. Do you understand that, sir? That's fine. You can ask. That's fine. Yeah, and, and you denying when I asked you. I got one well, that asked you. I asked you at least six times for ID. You were kind of aggressive. That's all I'm saying. I don't care. When well, you don't own by a police officer, we got a right to do what we got to do. Do you understand? I don't care if you video it. I don't care. Do you understand? You got all these women upset. Do you understand that? So if you don't have no business in the courthouse, I suggest you leave. Fine, I'll There's leave. There's your ID. Okay. And I want to file a complaint on you. Good. There's an officer there. There's an officer there. There's an officer there. There's an officer there. Who's the sergeant? I'm over right now, okay? Who's over you? The sheriff. Where's he at? He's not here. So if you don't have no business, you got a right to leave, okay? Fine. Go. I want to file a complaint Go on you. Go for it. Yeah, in that. There's yeah. a door right there, sir. Go. If you don't have no business here, you got a right to leave. And I'll make sure all these women make a complaint sir. against you, okay? Where's the sheriff's office? Jesus Christ. And I'm outside. You can't say a word to me. I am outside. Okay. I'm not in the courthouse. I'm outside. I'm walking to the bank. No, I want to ask you a question. What's his name and badge number? You want to file a complaint? What's his name and badge number? He is investigator Flo. If you want to file a complaint, you want to come back and talk to the chair. Yeah, because he was kind of being a jackass, and there was no reason for that. Okay. None. Okay. Then I, let's go. Right. Keep on moving. Get off the front. This is public, sir. <laughs> What's his name? What's your name and badge number? This is all public right here. That other guy did. He come getting up all in my face for no reason. And the way he talked to me, there was no reason to talk to somebody like that. And there was no reason to talk to somebody like that. That was absolutely uncalled for. That was very unprofessional on his part. And the cuss like that, and he's supposed to be a, he's supposed to be a sergeant, and he's supposed to be very professional. How's that professional? And to cuss the way he did, and to get into somebody's face like that, how's that supposed to be professional? Look, I don't know how to do that. I don't know. What was his deal? I don't know. But look, you're gonna have to leave. 
This is all public right here. Okay. I can stand here all day if I want to. Okay. You have a good day. Can I ask you a question? The one in the black shirt. It's something to do with law. Yes, sir, you can. I do. All right, what's that? How is it professional for your uh, for your sergeant to cuss? I'm late on this. I don't even know what's going on, sir. I was in public filming in the corridors. I down when you was walking out, so I don't even know what's going on. What's your name and badge number? You don't name, mind me. My name is Michael Turner. My badge Lonnie. number is 1615. Lonnie. I have law enforcement in my family. That's and the way that officer conducted himself, that was that, that was absolutely no. I I can I say? I can I, say may, I, may I say something, please? Sure. The no. way he that officer conducted himself was bullshit. That was very unprofessional. I don't even know what happened. I've been in here filming the corridors. Your lady let me go through. I emptied my pockets. Did everything I was supposed to. Was filming the corridors, going to the offices in public areas, not restricted areas, in public areas where I'm allowed to be. And he started, and then next thing you know, he come up. You will give me your ID. Are you lying? And he started cussing at me, getting in my face. Okay. So how, you know, and that's supposed to be a, is he a sergeant or what? No, he's an investigator. So who's the sergeant? So how do I get a sergeant or how do I get somebody in charge? You can contact the chief deputy, Virgil Chapman. How do I get a hold of him? There's numbers to the sheriff's office. Just leave your name and number with him. He'll give you a call back. Because that was very unprofessional. You were standing there. For part of it, you were standing there. And that was very, very unprofessional on his part.